Hey, what up? Sturdy again. So a bunch of you guys asking how to put the the bead on. Oh, bless you. Anyways, so uh, how to put the bead on your stuff if you don't want the knot. So sorry, I don't have any more um Emersons, the skulls at the moment. So um, I'll just use this is a 38 special brass. Gonna use that. Oh, sorry, my dog is tripping over there. <clears throat> like paracord.com, they got this shit, but uh, this does these are the plastic ones. They won't really work as a ND. I don't think they do. You gotta get those like Emerson skulls or maybe the other ones. But um, this is what you do. So you, like I said, you make the knot, leave a little bit extra. That way you can kind of adjust it. <clears throat> Have the person try it on, put the knot where you want it, kind of remember at what length you want the bead to be at or the knot or whatever. Untie it. So for, for this 38 special, the hole is kind of small so we're going to have to um, have to take some of the guts out of this just to be able to start it and then we can, you, we can slide it over eventually but Trying to thread two of these full size paracord through it is going to be a bitch. But I'm pretty sure you might be able to. I mean, if you're having a hard time with any hole, that's what you can do. You know what I mean? I know you guys like those little things I say, like, you know, 20 inches of black. I thought a lot of the comments were pretty funny, man. Anyway, so I'm cutting off the melted part of this. <clears throat> then what you do? Oh yeah, by the way. So uh, this is for uh, Ginzo 117. Um, took your advice. Changed my white lighter. Said it's bad luck. He doesn't know why. So if you know why, let us know. Some kind of urban legend, myth, some shit. I was I was about to fucking my I was gonna be doomed for life because of my white lighter. <laughs> so I threw a sticker on it, made a little dirty reviews one. It's kind of cool. But anyways, back to what we were doing. So yeah, cut the melted part off, then push this middle part out. Take the guts. You want to cut off uh, maybe like an inch of it. And I, I like to melt these just a little bit, you know, just to make sure they don't flare out, you know, they're going to fray a lot. Melt this one too. So this time, just kind of lightly melt it. And then you're going to want to kind of like shape it so it's smaller. Watch out, you're probably going to get burned a little bit. But that's one thing, if you're going to be making this, I guarantee you're going to burn your hands a couple times. So you kind of want to like, you know, shrink them in a little bit so they're easier to thread through. <clears throat> and then whatever bead you use, just stick them through, man. Like I said, you might have, this is like the hardest part, getting this stupid ass shit through, so. One second, I might have to go off camera. You get the idea though, right? Let me get this thing in, and then I'll show you how to melt it in a good way. Okay, once you get your your bead on, so slide it down, and then wherever you want it to, whatever length you want to make this at, cut it up. I mean, a, just a little bit, maybe an eighth of inch past that, and try to cut it nice and straight. You know what I mean? Make it a nice cut. Put them both together, and then just you know, cut them off nice, kind of. It's gonna help give you a more even burn. Okay, so. Try to keep them together, and this is the technique I use. So you're gonna want to like melt it this way first, right? You know, up and down, I would guess. Then flip it over for a couple seconds. Then get this side, and then get the other side. Kind of just, you know, you're gonna want to melt it evenly. That way, you're gonna get a nicer little melt point, whatever you want to call it. 
Sorry, it's kind of windy. So the first one is going to take a little while just to heat up. Okay, it's starting to melt a little bit. Flip it over. Just when it starts to turn black, you'll see the inside strands turn black, bubbling up. Okay. There you go. Okay. Then while it, give it a little bit, and then slowly slide up the bead. You don't want to slide it off. It's a pain in the ass to put it back on. Okay. And usually, when you melt it, it should kind of, you know, mushroom out so that it gets a little fucking head on it. Let's see if you can see it there. So, the more even you melt it, you know, it'll kind of give you a better melt. So, when you squeeze it up too, it might like smush some of the. Because, you know, the two pieces are like this. When you slide the bead up, it smushes it out. So, it might. You know, you gotta kind of just melt it again. Again, when you do the melting, try to use like just the. I'm using you. Okay, you know where the flame is. There's the blue part and then the orange part, right where the blue part is before it turns orange. But like just the edge of it. You know what I mean? Like if this is the flame, I'm just hitting the edge like that. Cause you don't want to really like char it. Cause it's gonna look all like messed up. So. So if you melt it good, it should just be nice and even and black. Sometimes there's like little air bubbles, you just gotta melt them out. It helps if it's not windy. So, and don't forget, once in a while you might want to blow your lighter. Because, uh, you know, just blow it off. Or else when you stick it in your hand or some shit, or like back in your pocket, it's gonna burn your leg. So there you go. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, pretty good melt. So apply that to whatever bead you're attaching the skulls to. Do it the same way. When you slide it back up, it kind of you know smushes it together. And then you gotta kind of you know do a little finessing. Yeah, you, know, you gotta practice a little bit. You know, you'll get you'll see how the thing melts. You know. And again, different colors melt different ways. Black is the best. Don't eat this brown, coyote brown and stuff, it melts, it looks really ugly, so I never use it. That's why I always use black. It just melts nice and even, one color. Anyways, sorry if that took a little longer than I thought. This is dirty. Shoots.